Alright, so I just saw. Ouais. Oh yeah, yeah, that's his favorite song. Are you going live on that? <laughs> that's crazy. So, just alright, so everybody that's knows. Uh, alright, so I'm Mike. From, uh, how you doing? I'm Mike from uh, the John A. Light Show with the mob, the mob, the mafia, and the man. And today, uh, we mm -hmm. just want to take one moment to uh, remember that John is not here because his daughter passed in the last 24 hours. And they, they, they harvested her organs today. Yeah, they saved and, her, they got 10 and, lives. And, and so she maybe saved 10 lives with this. So everybody remember that. John is quite the personality. He's uh, got a big media, social media presence. And he's done quite a bit of things in the entertainment industry. Uh, myself, uh, you know, they did a documentary about me. It's really not true, most of it. And uh, if no, you don't want to be true. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, of no, course. No, uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you don't like wasn't true. And so, I, so let's just kick this off. I have to say, it's uh, quite the honor and pleasure to have uh, Jada Kiss and Zach. Zach, the, the Miss. The Kiss. Miss. Kiss in the Miss. Kiss in the Miss. Yeah. So you guys, I want to thank you guys for taking the time out from this. First of all, this is a, a, a NFT event here yes. that has been like extremely well attended. I mean, premium, premium, high class. Uh, just the energy in the building is 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 excellent. It's, um, yeah. You ain't here today. You're nowhere. This is. I'm glad I'm here, and you know. Yeah. I'm yeah. Honored to be amongst some prestigious individuals. It's amazing. It's like I, yeah, I, I'm so uh, impressed by the gathering of people of all walks of life and the energy that you suggest that's attached to this whole this whole NFT world that guys like me really don't know much well, about. Yeah, but I, I've learned an awful lot today. In fact, some of the people in this audience right now have informed us yes. of quite a bit of stuff today. And uh, this is an incredible gathering. So. First of all, I just want to tell you something, and Mike, you, you can attest yeah. to this. Mike's a uh, Mike's a part of the NFT program and a retired Nassau County uh, yeah. Special Patrolman. Or what? Yeah, we call it that. If you okay, know. whatever you want. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And, and, and so, yeah. so one of the things is that we've all come to ended up in the same place, right? right. Isn't, it, isn't it special how, like, from all walks of life, we all, we all end up in the same place at some point? You know, I mean. Montega. Now, when I was a young kid, cop Montega. in the street, and someone said to me, Montega, I didn't know what the fuck they were talking about, right? I'm a Long Island guy. Yeah, I was born in Brooklyn. I got the Brooklyn voice, but I was raised on Long Island. So they were throwing Montega over my head. I didn't know what they were talking didn't about. Know what it was. All right? And then finally, one of the Puerto Rican guys who I robbed finally told me, Montega means dope. So now I, I don't know anything about you personally, Jay. Mm -hmm. And then I, I, I look you up today, and I'm playing. Shout oh, playing a song. Oh, playing a song. Yeah, that, that was on our yeah, podcast. That's the, yeah. that's the uh, a feature that I did on French Montana's song. His album is called Montana. Well, I back. have to say, I listened to that song today two or three times, and I actually started to sweat, man, because it just came. I felt like I was back in the. Watch back. back. I hope I don't back. offend anybody. Back I felt time. like I was back in the hood in the eighties, nineties, man. It was like it was real. See, you guys don't know this. But I was friends with the, the Fat Boys. No doubt. Okay. Rest in peace to yeah, all of the Prince, Prince Margie The Prince D, just went out. Peace yeah. to so I'll tell you guys a story, and then you go. Because I, yeah, I like to talk. So Prince Marky D was driving down Sutter Avenue, yes. and he comes up right around Hemlock, and there's a dagger on the right. He pulls in with his burgundy uh, v, uh, you know, they, they had that wing on the back that, like, the, the uh, sport. This the antenna, it was an antenna. You know, back then they had a little antenna with a V. He had this burgundy Cadillac. And the guy pops out the back and he walks. And I've got some rookie kid in the car with me. And I'm under investigation by everybody, so I don't want to do nothing. But this, but Marky D, I don't know him. Yeah. He just guy jumps out the car and he grabs his satchel and he goes like this. And I go, You want a gun collar, kid? So he goes, Yeah! Brand new kid, Puerto Rican kid from New York. I want a gun call. Yeah, I want a gun call. You want a gun call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He goes, wait. I go, that guy's got a gun on. He goes, how do you know? I said, just, 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 just don't, don't ask questions. Oh, you want a gun call? He goes, yeah. So I race into the bodega, and there's no gun. There's nobody. Well, this guy, this big, heavy set Puerto Rican looking guy, is yeah. walking around. Yeah, I don't know about it. So I go to the store and I go, if there's a gun behind your counter, you're going to jail for it. I goes, he takes the band out. He goes, he put it in. I swear to God, it's not mine. Wow. So, so Marky D's like, so I go, give me the thing. So I open it up. There's a stack of hundreds in there. 
and a 32 two shot Derringer. Beautiful little gun, you see that? Yeah, definitely, I see. It breaks off like this. Size. So, long story short, I go to the kid, oh, you got yourself a gun, Carl. So he goes, so Marky D says, my brother works in the 90 precinct. He's a cop of the 90. Oh. So, so the kid goes, his name was Perez. He goes, I know his brother. Wow. I go, what do you want me to do? You know his brother. He's still, you've got a gun call. I'm sorry. You know, at this point, I've been under more investigations than fucking, than Trump. Okay? I've been under more investigations than anybody. So I go, you got to take the collar. He goes, I really don't want to. So Marky D says, yo, bro, I'll give you all the money in the bag. And I'm like, that's right, uh, that's that's right up my alley, dude. <laughs> but, but, this is, I'm telling real stories, bro. So I go, I can't take the money. I got a rookie with me right now. I'm fucking, nah, I'm twisted. So they go, all right, you know what? You don't want the collar? He goes, no. He goes, all right, well, I won't collar him, let him go. I give him back his bag with the money in it. And I take the gun, I keep the gun, I leave, right? The kid goes to me, so Mark, I'm walking out the door. Mark goes, can I have the gun? I go, are you wow. fucking kidding me? I said, this gun's going to get you killed. So I ain't really had to. Because some guys don't know how to use a gun. You know, they carry one, they think they're safe. But when they pull it out, they ain't willing to use it. So they're going to get killed by it. So I said, this is going to kill you. Do you know? Worse than not having 35 years later, I tweeted something out. And he fucking looked up with me on, on Twitter. And he said, Mike, you saved my life. Before he, this is, this, this is eight years, this is eight years before he died, because he ran down here in Miami, he ran around down here with the clubs, he did the clubs in Miami and stuff yeah. like that, he yeah. sent me a message, he said, you saved my life, and you know what, I, I didn't have an affinity for the guy, I just let him go, but he said, what you said to me saved my life, so hey, you know, now I'll give it to you. <laughs> uh, that, that, you, I'm blown away by it. Right? This, is, this is real. You can't make this yeah. shit up. I was watching Zach's faces. That was real. Right? <laughs> I, I was trying to say, oh, now, now beat it. Uh, Just no. spit something out. I can't Different beat error. It. Spit it. I can't beat that. I appreciated it. Yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, that's just the way it was, bro. You know? That was real. That was the street back in, the, in, in those days. You know, listen. In the blue shit, you know, all that bullshit that's going on today, which is horrible. I mean, I don't think anybody would disagree that what's going on today is horrible out there. We, none of us are safe out there today, for Christ's sake. Nah, but, you know, they get the, all cops ain't bad. Right. Coming There's from the one hood, that was. Coming from the hood. Yeah. I mean, a lot of them are, but yeah. all of them, you can't, you can't stereotype. It's like every person ain't bad, or everybody from the hood, or every... Body that's less fortunate is not a bad person, so, you know. So what are you doing right now? Me right now, I'm doing TV, I'm doing music, I'm doing podcasts, me. I have a coffee coming out. Um, doing voiceover work, I'm doing, I'm about to go on tour, I'm doing, <laughs> doing, doing, doing a shitload of things. You're not slinging yeah. dope. You're not I slinging no fucking dope. I'm not slinging anything. I'm <laughs> slinging fruit. I got six He's juice bars. Fruit. Hold on. I'm slinging fruit and vegetables. Really? This is for life. We also have a store opening up. My brother and his wife, Pharmacy for Life in Scarsdale, New York. So. We, we oh, you're, young, you're, from, you're, you're born and raised in Yonkers, New York. Yeah. yeah, Lilo. Lilo's up over there, right? No doubt. You know Lilo. Lilo. Lilo lived in my building. I see him. Oh, look see at that. See, but, see how see close we're connected already? Lee, <laughs> Lee used to actually cop from our block. Then when he came home from his bed, he moved in my building down on the waterfront. And um and Yonkers and now he's doing good. I seen him before I flew out here. I spoke yeah, to him last week. He just bought a Benz. He came through Did with he? the top drop. I want him to yell at him. Had that. a lady friend with him. <laughs> oh yeah, yes, I, I know his lady his friend. Head. I know his lady friend. So Lee is he's good. Lee loves doing yeah. good. Yeah. Man. He's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. So what do you do with him now? What do you guys do? Do you run the podcast? This is a special joke. Oh, tell, I want to know. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him a little about yourself. Not, not. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Jay is my partner, and uh, ever since we've been linked up, we've been able to. That's this thing month. on? Yeah, um, yeah so <laughs> Jada, be on. <laughs> me and Jada are partners and uh, we originally got linked up and uh, when we first talked, I just thought maybe we could do like a fancy football league. I started off thinking small and uh, he said, I do want to do a sports show. I said, word? I said, that sounds like something I'm interested in. And uh, I had a lot of offers for podcasts, you know, for a few years and stuff. I never committed to one. Because you're a big personality or because you're good at podcasting? I think it's just my overall sports knowledge. He's very smart. He predicted the Rams to win in September of the yeah. year before they won the Super Bowl. 
I got four they play. I've been eight. like that since I was ten. Shit. Yeah. But we gonna give you he picked Buffalo this year, so put something on in that. Buffalo, huh? Oh, oh, yeah. Don't tell everybody out there. No, deep yeah, deep yeah, deep. yeah. I don't yeah. want the odds get no fucked up. Hold on, cut that out. That's yeah, a ten thousand dollar tip. We're cutting that. We're cutting that out. I gotta sell it to Floyd or someone. So uh yeah, so we linked up, we talked on the phone, and uh, I think Kish just saw an 18-year-old kid that knew a lot about sports, and um, we linked up in Miami, and uh, we filmed like a little pilot, like a little short one, a just a little interview, just kind of see how our chemistry would go, and like, what was your reaction when you first saw me downstairs? I, I didn't even know that was you. He was, you know, he was real, <laughs> real subtle, real somber, real closed in, and then when they said, when they hit action on the camera, it, it, a whole nother personality came out of them. And um, after we hung around each other and got to know each other, you know, the camaraderie opened up more. And he's a genius. He's a genius in the tech world. He's a genius in the sports world. He's a golden. He's a golden Jew. Yeah. It was like, hey, what's up? I'm Zach. And then they were like, three, two, one. I was like. What's up, guys? Missed exact, and then it was over. It was oh, there you go. So yeah, you I can see. see I can see. see it. I, yeah, I see. see it. I see you gotta it. Right come there. Yeah, you gotta step it up in this you game. You gotta bro. step it up. You got, otherwise, you, you, people people don't care. You if smart. you don't step it up, you disappear. Yeah, you disappear. You gotta now, turn it on. Now, what's what are you doing now, right now, as we speak, music wise? Right now, just released. I'm all over the place. I wanna know what you released. On, I heard some. You heard me on. French. My tag, I'm um, just. Is that new? I'm on. That's, that's very brand new. new. That's, oh, because that, that sounds very, like new. 90s and shit. Dude. Very, very new. Um, oh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Rowdy Rebel and A Boogie just released a song. I'm from New York. With me fuck on with you that. Uh, I just released a single with Funkmaster Flex on Thursday Fire. with Swiss Beats. Fire. Uh, Fire. Will probably be Fire. the lead off song for the new season of Godfather of Harlem. Oh, yeah, um, sure. Shout out to Swiss, shout out to Forrest Whitaker, shout out to Grady. Speaking of Godfather um, Hall, we actually have Gigantes, one of my mafia collections. No we we so, go, I, we have the, I think the nephew has a restaurant in White Plains. Yeah, got, we yeah, go man, up man, there. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you know, small yeah, world. Right? No doubt. Yeah, no, the world is so small, bro. Yeah. It's just, it's just, you, Kevin Bacon ain't got nothing on us. Let me tell you straight <laughs> out. Six nothing, we're three, two, four, maybe one. You know? yeah. In fact, no, we had a girl sitting down here before. He, he was related to the girl's uncle. Didn't yeah, so let's keep it. Didn't yeah, even know yeah. it. I, well, we're keeping it for now. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just working. We working one day at a time. You know, happy to be here. Happy to be able to, you know, do the things we love and, and make money. Are you doing NFT stuff too? Uh, actually, that's all in the hands of my little bro. I, I like you. I like, like you. I'm just learning about it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Of course, before I hit the this button, is what's our I wanted to be official. Yeah. So, you know, I'm going through my little brother right here. Yeah, so, so, so you're bringing him in that world now. Yeah, yeah. So I have a, um, a web three development company called Mozverse. And um, we, we do we a, right we we do a wide right scope of things. Shit. Yeah. They know what to say. Yeah, we're two years in. And um, originally we started as a metaverse project. And it's been able to blossom into us building out uh, NFT marketplaces for massive, massive companies. I can't say the names of but. Huge ones are also working on a live stadium. So you can't even say the names of it because no, it's, it's going to yeah, break loose and then we're going to all want to be bought and then we, yeah, then you the contract. Can I get a private NDA, little? Can I get a little something? A lot like of stuff. That? Come on now, I'll break you off. <laughs> um, <laughs> then uh, I'm working on it. Working on. Mike, he can't leave. This he can leave, can leave, but he can't. You know on, what, Jada? We we'll get you out of here. We're going to keep an eye on. Exactly. We'll keep an eye on him. <laughs> Working on a live stadium, which is going to be the most hyper-realistic uh, virtual experience, and uh, that's something I'm really passionate about. And I think it's right up Kiss's alley as a performer. Right. That you know, performers want the absolute best. They want to look their absolute best. They want to sound. The so best, what's that right? going to be like? In other words, experience. it's going to be you, he's going to do a show, and people Inside are going to be the metaverse. And you you're going to see it. You're going to be able to touch him on stage like without there, being there. there. Yeah, the, from your home. Yeah. Jesus, I need a girl. <laughs> that's <laughs> another <laughs> useful story too. With those in the I want something. That, that's not Mazverse, but there's something for you. For sure. <laughs> there's something out there. That, there's a lot of money to be made there. 100. Yeah. percent Yeah. That's a good use case. I don't want to get in trouble. My, you know, my girls in Canada. You know, it's been a long time. <laughs> get her through the screen. There you go. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so you can work that work. Yeah, we'll pull it off. We got, we got the tech. We got the tech. And Mike, so explain to them uh, where we're at with our situation. Now we have, we're here with. We are, our goal is yeah, this. We're not, not going to be the A Mafia collection, we're going to be the Mafia collection. 
So Let's anybody involved it. in that in that world, we're going to have and build around that. And we have some musicians. We have yeah, we have a lot of people coming in, but we have luxury. Top, top, top. Right? Yeah, I've been I've been well, talking. Talk, to, well, why can't we hook this up? What are we waiting? Yeah. I've been talking yeah. to Pete a lot about. Oh, okay, so we're good then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're working together. Yeah. Okay. So that, yeah. I just want to. I don't want you guys coming here drinking all our shit and leaving. No, yeah. yeah. This we got to break one off. This we got to take each off. Mike. That's what I'm saying. We got to take care of each this other. Everybody in here, you got to look out for one another. Maz for sponsored event. So. Cool. We're good. <laughs> Mike, is that okay now? Are We're in the flesh. Are they good? Jay, what, what, what do you think? I, everybody's <laughs> always asked everybody that's, that's accomplished something. What brought you here? I don't mean physically. What brought you here? Like, what, what gave you the temerity, the, the, the drive to be here today? Where, like, so, you know, I went to 14 years of prison. I did my fucking thing. I'm back out. People hate you because you're making a life. And you're not laying down and licking your nuts in the corner. So here you are. You've been through life. Why are you still doing it? I mean, what? How? What's the drive? I say my mom. Yeah. My mom knew something, and she probably had a vision of me being me before I even knew how to put one rap together, and um, just to better my family's situation see my kids have a better life than I had um, and just being able to make money off doing something that I love you know what I mean you, yeah you know and, and not my favorite person but Oprah said get a, get get a well not really get get a get get, get a job that you love and hopefully you can make money at it. It'll never feel like work. So it never feels it's like work, you know? Bad. So while while this see like I'm not good at this but you are good. But, but no, but you're fine. I'm getting better at it. But for me, it's not like work. Even though I'm sweating my balls off. I mean, <laughs> but it, this this is actually what I like to do. I like to talk to people. Mike's like Jack. Nicholson I wish I was a teacher. To be honest Nicholson. with you, on this he's like Jack Nicholson. There's about thirty Seinfeld people in this room. Combined in I wish I was a That's teacher. What I, I probably am not good at it, but I wish I was because I actually like speaking to to, to youth, mm -hmm. and, and I like to share my experiences, my my my, my foils mm -hmm. and my travails, mm -hmm. and then teach people how to be better. You know. Because without that experience of failure, you could fail 900 times as long as you get up 901, right? Yeah. Didn't uh, Denzel say something like that? Yeah. No. Yeah. All right, so I just wanted to uh, we'll let you guys get back to the party. I just wanted to, Jay to take the minute. I appreciate your time. Jada, Jada, give us, give us your handles. That You can hit me up at The Real Kiss. That's on everything. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you see me in a mall, you can come up to me Say and talk hello. to me. You right. know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a nice down to earth fellow. <laughs> That's the way it is, bro. I love that you said that because people often, they take their phone out, right? They're yeah. looking, is this him? Is this him? Yeah. And just come say hello. That's it. A lot right? of weirdos. Yeah. No, it's okay. No, they're, they're, they're Mike, uncomfortable. They're Mike, uncomfortable. I don't they're, have to record. I got them. one discrepancy how you took too long to tell me about, because I'm looking at you like, I saw this guy before. Yeah. And he's like, yo, that's me from the seven. I said, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, I need a awesome. proper you introduction. Good, you did good, brother. Listen, thank you guys for coming. We appreciate the audience in the background. You guys are really silent. And uh, we all should go down and, and partake. No doubt. Peace out. One love. One love. <laughs> thank you. That was awesome. Good job, Nick. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they're gonna get Odell. Odell told me. No, oh, they're the best team. They don't get injured. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? That's good. You speak today? I did. I spoke this morning. Okay. I